my channel today I'm gonna be doing this makeup look for you right here it's very different very different for me I don't usually uh, play with green but I did play with green today and I'm happy that I did I really like the way that this turned out I think it's a really pretty different interesting way to wear green without like slapping green all over your eyelid I used a fairly new foundation just a bunch of stuff I used a bunch of stuff in this video a bunch of eyeshadow palettes I will tell you all the information as the video continues but if you guys want to see how to get this makeup look then just keep watching Okay, so we're going to be working from a few different palettes for this look, but of course you guys can use whatever you have. I have the Morphe and Kathleen Lights eyeshadow palette that I'm working from. I'm working from the Anastasia Beverly Hills Modern Renaissance palette, and I'm working from some ColourPop single eyeshadows. These are like their brights that I popped into this little Z palette. I'm starting out by taking this yellow shadow by ColourPop, and I'm going to blend this into my crease. I'm going to use a big fluffy brush for this. Next, I'm taking this peachy color right here. This is Best Coast Scenario, and I'm using the same brush, which is a BH Cosmetics brush. I'm going to buff this just below it and mixing in a tiny bit with that yellow. So next we're heading into the Modern Renaissance palette and I'm gonna take the shade Burnt Orange, this color right here, and I'm gonna be using a Luxie 229 Tapered Blending Brush, it looks like this, and I'm just gonna take this Burnt Orange and I'm gonna place this just below those colors that we already put down. Then in the same palette, I'm gonna take this orange color down here, this is Realgar, I'm gonna use my same Luxie brush and I'm gonna put this even below that other orange color so we're gonna have a gradient effect. Then I'm taking a tiny bit more of Tiki and I'm gonna put this into my upper crease closer to my brow bone. So what you should be working with right now is the deepest, darkest orange here and then working up to a lighter orange, a peach, and a yellow. And next up I'm going into the Kathleen Lights Times Morphe palette and I'm gonna take this kind of like super crazy bright green color right here. Now this is the only or one of the only super bright greens that I own. I have one other one but it was a little bit too light for this look. So you guys can use any green that you have. I just personally don't own any other bright greens like this because it's not a color that like I've ever worn before in my life. Never. I'm going to use a flat little shader brush and I'm going to pack this into the empty space on my lid. Next I'm taking this little brush right here. This is a Mikasa E310 brush and I'm just going to like dab the edges of my green to help it blend with no additional product on this brush. We're just softening the edges a little bit before we go in and add more color. Now I'm taking a Morphe M138 brush and I'm going to take the color Red Ochre and I'm just going to make a little sandwich around my green eyeshadow applying this to the outer corner and the inner corner. Switching back to my Luxie 229 Tapered Blending brush, I'm going to take a little bit more of that burnt orange color and just blend the edges of this red. Next up I'm taking Tiki again on my big fluffy beach cosmetics brush and I'm gonna brush this right where the yellow goes and on some more of those shades just to kind of help transition and blend everything. I like to use my transition shade over all of my crease shades sometimes and it just helps them to transition and look better when they're blending which is kind of the point of a transition shade. And now I'm taking that Kathleen Lights color one more time and I'm spraying my brush with a little bit of water and that's going to intensify our green pigment. And then one more time I'm just blending the edges to soften up that green. I'm gonna go ahead and curl my eyelashes and apply a coat of the Maybelline Big Shot Colossal Mascara. Now I'm going to take my favorite false lashes, the Ardell Demi Wispies, and I'm going to pop a pair of these on. So and next up I'm just cleaning up under my eyes any fallout that I had. Just a little bit. Just a little bit. And now I'm going to go in by priming my skin. I'm going to start by using the Smashbox Photo Finish Foundation Primer. This stuff uh, fills in pores. And I'm just applying this to the T-zone of my face. And then I'm taking the Wet n Wild Coverall Primer and I'm going to apply this to my whole face. This is pretty much just like a super hydrating primer. It feels like a moisturizer kind of. 
For my foundation today, I'm going to be using the CoverGirl Vitalist Healthy Elixir Foundation in the shade 710 Classic Ivory. I actually want to do a first impression and review on this, but I'm stupid and I used this for the first time off camera like a moron. Like I bought it solely to do the review and I'm just an, like an idiot. Like I said, I, I used it for my dance recital. I don't know why not positive and I don't know why somebody would like let their first impression of a foundation be the night of the dance recital where you're gonna be dancing and sweating and like it's craziness but it lasted all night so I just pumped it onto the back of my hand and now I'm gonna dab it on my face you guys know the drill this stuff has like a scent to it like it smells pretty good but it does have a scent to it and now I'm just gonna take a beauty sponge and blend this stuff in so next up we're going to go in and conceal and I'm going to use the Maybelline Dream Lumi Touch in the shade Ivory. And I'm just going to apply this everywhere that I want to brighten my face, so under the eyes, the chin, the nose, and the forehead. And then I'm just going to use that same sponge to blend it out. Now I'm just going to take my BH Cosmetics brush again and I'm not going to use any additional product, but I'm just going to blend a little bit in here. Um, just because when I put down, or when you put down your foundation and your concealer and stuff sometimes it messes up your blending so just wanted to do a little a little blending a little a little thing right here next up i'm going to be taking this wet and wild mega glow contouring palette i'm going to start by taking this shade right here and i'm going to use a vasanti blush 7 brush i'm just going to set my under eyes and now I'm going to take a Luxie 512 small contouring brush and I'm going to take the brown in this palette and I'm going to contour my cheeks a little bit and warm up my face. Next up I'm going to use the Wet n Wild Color Icon Bronzer in the shade Ticket to Brazil and I'm going to use a big fluffy Real Techniques powder brush and I'm going to warm up my skin. Now I'm going to use some blush. This is backwards. Now I'm going to use some blush. This is the Milani T Rose Powder Blush and I'm going to take the Luxie 514 Blush Brush. I'm going to swirl my brush in here, tap off the excess, and then just lightly pop it on my cheeks. And of course, handy dandy trick, taking my beauty sponge, tap it on top of these colors. Next we're going to highlight and I'm going to be using the Mary Lou Manizer by The Bomb. I just bought a new one because I dropped mine and broke it. And I'm using a Real Techniques setting brush. And last to finish up my skin, I'm going to use the NYX Micro Brow Pencil to draw on some beauty marks. Put one right there. I have one here, here, and here. Put one right here. So now we're going to go ahead and do our lower lash line and finish up our eyes. We're going to start by taking um, this shade right here burnt orange and I'm using a Real Techniques accent brush. I'm gonna run this right down here. Then I'm taking a tiny little bit of red ochre on my Morphe little M138 brush and I'm adding this to the outer part of the lower lash line. Then I'm using my Mikasa E310 brush and I'm just gonna buff that stuff out um, without adding any additional product. And then using that same flat brush that I used to apply the green shadow to my eyelid, I'm going to really tap it off and pop it right in the center of my lower lash line. Next up I'm taking a little bit more of my Big Shot mascara and I'm applying this to my lower lashes. And lastly for my lips I'm going to go in with this MAC lipstick which is a collaboration between MAC and Laura Lee. And this is called Lar Lar Lee. It's just like a really pretty like nudie color, but it's kind of got like a pinky undertone to it. And that completes this makeup look. I hope that you guys liked it. If you did, please be sure to give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel so you don't miss any of my upcoming videos. My name is Alexis, and I'll see you next time. Bye!